Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the labyrinth of relationships. We're going to discuss a topic that's as old as love itself, yet remains a pervasive issue in many relationships today, infidelity. We'll be exploring the seven compelling reasons why you might want to think twice before welcoming back a partner who has cheated. From the fragility of trust to the impact on mental health, we'll delve into each reason. Shedding light on why accepting a cheating partner back into your life might not be the best idea. We'll also touch on some historical perspectives, because after all, history often serves as our greatest teacher. So, buckle up for an insightful exploration into the world of relationships and fidelity. Without any further ado, let's get started with our first reason. Think about trust like a delicate glass vase. It's beautiful. It holds something precious, and it's a central piece in the room of your relationship. But once it's shattered, each tiny piece scattered across the floor, it becomes a painstaking task to rebuild. You may try to glue it back together, but the cracks remain visible a constant reminder of the damage done. Trust, much like this glass vase, forms the bedrock of any relationship. It's the silent promise that keeps two souls intertwined. But when trust is broken, much like the glass vase, it's not easy to restore. It takes a lot of time, patience, and effort to rebuild. History bears witness to the fragility of trust Take the tale of Julius Caesar and Brutus, where a single act of betrayal altered the course of an empire. History is full of stories where trust was broken and it changed everything. Taking back someone who cheated can sometimes feel like you're compromising your self-respect. It's like walking on a path where you're constantly questioning your worth. But let me tell you, self-respect is not just about standing tall in front of others. It's about standing tall in front of the mirror, looking into your own eyes and knowing that you are not settling for less than you deserve. Imagine you're a precious gem. Would you let yourself be tossed around, taken for granted? Absolutely not. You're priceless, unique. Your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. And that's the key. You need to remember your worth, your value. In a relationship, it's essential to value yourself, to respect yourself. Because if you don't, who will? You deserve to be treated with honesty, with loyalty. You deserve a love that adds to your life, not one that subtracts from it. Remember, you deserve honesty and loyalty in a relationship. Dealing with the aftermath of infidelity can be an emotional roller coaster. Just like a roller coaster, it's a journey filled with twists and turns, ups and downs. One minute, you may feel the crushing weight of betrayal, the next, a surge of anger, and then confusion. It's not uncommon to question everything, to replay moments in your mind, and to ask yourself how you didn't see it coming. These emotions, while painful, are completely normal. They are part of the healing process a testament to the human capacity to feel and to heal. It's important to remember that it's okay to feel these emotions, to let them wash over you and to experience them fully. It's part of the process of coming to terms with what happened. And while it's a difficult ride, remember that like any roller coaster, it doesn't last forever giving yourself space to heal and process these emotions is crucial. Sadly, some people who cheat once may do it again. It's a harsh reality to face, but it's crucial to consider. Just as the famous saying goes, history often repeats itself. This can be seen in the story of King Henry VIII. This historical figure is known for his six marriages, often discarding one wife to pursue another showing a clear pattern of repeated unfaithfulness. 
Now, we're not saying your partner is King Henry VIII, but it's important to identify patterns in behavior. If someone has shown they're capable of betraying your trust once, it's possible they might do it again. And you, my friend, deserve to be with someone who values your relationship enough not to jeopardize it. Someone who understands that a momentary thrill is not worth the pain and damage it can cause. So keep your eyes open, your heart guarded, and never forget your worth. The aftermath of cheating can take a toll on your mental health. It's like a storm that leaves you in a whirlwind of emotions. One moment, you're grappling with the betrayal. The next, you're questioning your self-worth. This emotional turmoil often leads to anxiety. It's like a dark cloud that hovers, making you constantly wonder if you're good enough, if you could have done something differently. These thoughts and questions can keep you up at night, leading to sleep deprivation and ultimately depression. Insecurity too can creep in, making you doubt every smile, every word, every action. You may find yourself on constant alert, looking for signs of deceit. This state of hyper-awareness is mentally exhausting. It can affect your ability to trust, not just your partner, but others around you as well. Remember, your mental well-being should always be a top priority. It's not just about surviving the storm, but also about finding your sunshine again. Rebuilding a relationship after cheating is a long and challenging process. It's like trying to piece together a thousand piece puzzle, each piece representing a moment of trust, love and connection that was shattered. It's a painstaking process that requires immense patience and resilience. It's not just about saying sorry and moving on. It's about understanding why it happened, what led to it, and how to prevent it from happening again. It's about rebuilding trust, reestablishing connection, and finding forgiveness. It's about introspection, growth, and change. Yet, even with all this effort, the picture may never look the same again. The cracks, the scars, they might still be visible. It's not a quick fix, it's a journey. A journey that might take weeks, months, or even years. And it's okay to take the time you need to heal. It's okay to prioritize your well-being, your peace, your happiness. After all, you are important too. Lastly, remember that there are plenty of people out there who will cherish and value you without betraying your trust. It's easy to forget our worth when we're hurt or feeling low, but it's essential to keep in mind that there are better options out there. You don't have to settle for a relationship filled with doubts and broken trust. When we talk about better options, we're not just talking about other potential partners. We're talking about the option of being single and focusing on your own growth. We're talking about the option of finding happiness within yourself without needing validation from a partner who's proven unfaithful, just like the vast ocean filled with numerous species of fish. The world is teeming with individuals who would treat you with the respect, love, and loyalty that you deserve. So why tether yourself to someone who's shown they don't value those things? Don't settle for less than you deserve. So there you have it, seven reasons why taking back a cheating partner might not be the best idea. Let's take a quick recap. Trust like a fragile glass vase, once shattered, can be extremely difficult to restore. It's the bedrock of any relationship, and once compromised, it can cause the entire foundation to crumble. Next, we talked about self-respect. It's about knowing your worth and not settling for less than what you deserve. Accepting someone back who has cheated on you may feel like a compromise on your self-esteem. Then, we looked at the emotional turmoil that follows infidelity, the heartbreak, the anger, the confusion, it's quite a roller coaster, one that not everyone is equipped to handle. We also discussed the potential of a cheating partner becoming a repeat offender. 
history has a funny way of repeating itself, and it's vital to consider whether this is a pattern of behavior in your partner. The impact on mental health is another significant factor. The aftermath of cheating can lead to anxiety, depression, and a constant feeling of insecurity. It's essential to prioritize your mental well-being over everything else. Rebuilding a relationship after an affair is a long and challenging process. It requires absolute commitment from both parties to change and grow. It's not a quick fix, and it's perfectly okay to take the time you need to heal. Finally, we reminded you that better options do exist. There are plenty of people out there who will cherish and value you without betraying your trust. You deserve someone who respects you and your relationship. In conclusion, it's crucial to prioritize your happiness and well-being in any relationship. You are worthy of love, respect, and honesty. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. Remember, your self-worth is not determined by someone else's inability to see your value. So, stand tall, value yourself, and never settle for less than you deserve. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.